I am blood brother to my blood sister of the Quahadi Comanche, a band of Comanche called the Quahadi, who are the antelope people. That came about when two ladies came in here one Saturday night. She and her dad came from the reservation in Oklahoma, the Comanche Reservation. You see, and I, I just happened to say to her, that's one of, my, one, of, one of my aims in life is to be made, made a blood brother. But as I said, I want you to show, I want to show you my, what I call my museum to the Native American. So you know I'm not just speaking with forked tongue. And I showed her the artifacts of the Native American. And I explained to her my feelings. She said, we will have to go somewhere where my feet must touch Mother Earth. So we went out the back garden. You can have only two witnesses, but no cameras and no talking, because this is spiritual. She narrated this ritual for about 10 minutes. She chanted and uh, let's kind of shuffle and dance type. And after that was finished, after about 10 minutes, she was crying. And I said, well, why are you crying? She says, it's emotional for me. She says, why? She says, you're my blood brother. She says, my blood, my, my, my real brother, he committed suicide just over a year ago. So you're taking his place spiritually. And your name is now Chukwa Power. And I said, well, what does that mean? She says, Brother Moon. And I said, well, what's your name? She says, Mua Power, meaning crying moon. She says, we may never meet again, but if you ever want to talk to me, you speak to the, speak to the wind. The wind will carry your words right over to me.